Well, I am joined now with veterinarian Dr. Scott Blanton. And Scott, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're welcome. So we were kind of talking about during the break is, can you teach an old dog new tricks? That's always a good question. I don't know if it's a person or if it's a dog that you can teach. You can. I mean, it just depends. You know, dogs are conditioned. Dogs are, you know, when I talk to people, I say dogs are linear. That uh, means A and B and C, and they like those things. So if, you know, if they go out to the bathroom, they get a treat. They go to the bathroom, they want a treat. And so those are the things. It's a risk-reward type stuff. And then we were always already talking about age-wise, you know, and can they get senile? And yes, yeah, they can get the, you know, dimension and a lot of the stuff that, that humans get, unfortunately. Um, but it's just it's an age thing. And, and it's so different a lot of times with the, the size of the dog. You know, if you have a great day and a large breed dog, you know, when they get to the age of your dogs at eight years old, they're very old. But, you know, in a chihuahua or a dachshund, eight years old, it's, uh, that's, that's young. And so, you know, the life expectancy, because we, we've always talked about, you know, seven years per one year of, you know, how many, how, many, how old are they in dog years? Well, there are no dog years. There's just people years or what we consider a year. Um, but again, it's just the breeds uh, work differently on those things. So it's just longevity of that breed. Again, an eight-year-old Chihuahua is young. An eight-year-old Great Dane is old. And so, uh, you know, you have to find out what, what breed it is. But we get into those same things. When they get older, um, you know, they'll get into dementia. They get into kidney trouble. They get into liver trouble. So it's, again, kind of like us. When you're young and healthy, you, you know, we don't run into those things. Uh, but when you get older, we run into those things that we need to check on. You know, it's, we always call it senior health. And when they're older, you know, we, we do blood work a little bit more because, we, you know, we worry about those things. And we think of cancer uh, as a problem at that point in time. And so, um, uh, ultimately, um, we do have to think, as veterinarians think, okay, what is our age? You know, because some people will call up and say, you know, I have the dog that's having a little diarrhea and this, not eating for a couple of days. And then the next question is, how old's the dog? and what kind of dog it is because if it's a puppy they may have eaten something you know out in the yard if you're 10 11 12 years old there's a whole set of of differential diagnoses that we have to look at just be based on your age yeah a lot of good information there something that i wanted to ask you is you know how well a lot of questions come to mind but one is you know as they get older how often should you take them to the vet to make sure they're not going senile like you said or right right and those things uh, we we like to see them twice a year okay and a lot of times we'll say that and people will say oh well you know that's you know once a year's fine but again we when we have a life expectancy of 10 years or 12 years you know I think the average right now is 10 years you know, 30 years ago, the average age was four and a half years old for the dog. So, you know, we've come a long way as veterinarians uh, and healthcare professionals to take care of these animals for a longer period of time and quality of life for the most part. Uh, but we like to see them twice a year because it, when, we, when we really equate it to our lives, you know, that's, that's like us going to the doctor every once every five years. Okay. If we go every six months, is that, if that makes sense. And yeah. so I like to see those things. I like to catch those things before... They, they get worse because some people will just see them and there'll be subtle changes and if we can head off subtle changes you know before they get to be major changes it's hard to take care of the major stuff um, when it's too late very true now how do you kind of determine the age of an animal or dog? yeah that's always a good question because people will ask all the time and my my first response is how long have you had the dog um, and that's one of those jokes because people will go well you know I've had them for 10 years how old are they doc well they're 10 years old at least and so sure. um, you know you look at teeth you look at, you know the teeth seem to be the the old premature gray like like myself it, it, that's it's just premature so that that's no indication of age but um, uh, teeth and how if they've had worn teeth um, and it's not as much wear as it is plaque and all that stuff and you can m guesstimate for the most part um, and get close between like one to three years you can yeah I mean I, I wouldn't you know I wouldn't stake stake my life on it but yeah we we try to get close and so th there's indications and you know it just depends on breeds on teeth um, again some smaller breeds have worse teeth you know some labs never have tartar their whole life so true it's uh it's one of those things so age-wise it's it's hard to predict but you know that's again the first question I ask is how long have you had the dog and so and how big were they when you got them and so and then we go from there all right, Scott. Well, hey, thank you so much. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time, but thank you so much. You're and 